Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Uh, pestilence this season certainly seems to be spreading. Here's a couple of uh, stories that I want to run through with you quickly. A passenger on an international flight with a confirmed case of measles. That's the second one now. We had measles at, at um, Newark Airport in New Jersey just a few days ago. Well, this is at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, potentially exposing others at the airport to the highly contagious disease. This is, of course, uh, according to the Illinois Department of Health, the passenger who was inf infectious at the time arrived on an international flight at Terminal 5 and departed on a domestic flight from Terminal 1. Now, people may have been exposed at they were at O'Hare between 6.30 a.m. and 1 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, January 10. Now, the IDPH says those who have not been vaccinated are of most concern. Again, you know, I... I I just, I, I see, what I'm seeing here in these stories, and I'm going to continue on, it's just, there seems to be this, this heavy push toward get everyone getting vaccinations, vaccinate, vaccinate, okay, measles is a very contagious virus, and it can hang around in the air for up to an hour or two after a person has left, this is according to uh, University of Chicago Medicine's Dr. Allison Bartlett, um, we have videos popping up here. Uh, remember the good old days when there weren't videos that would pop up and start playing unless you wanted them to? All right, so we're going to move over now to this one where we don't have any videos popping up. Um, and this is a severe flu season is stretching hospitals thin, and that is a very bad omen. Okay, a tsunami of sick people has swamped hospitals in many parts of the country in recent weeks as a severe flu season has taken hold. In Rhode Island, hospitals diverted ambulances for a period because they were overcome with patients. In San Diego, a hospital erected a tent outside its emergency room to manage an influx of people with flu symptoms. Now, wait times at scores of hospitals have gotten longer, but if something as foreseeable as a flu season, albeit one that is pretty severe, is stretching health care to its limits, what does that tell us about the ability of hospitals to handle the next flu pandemic? Okay, so we have, we have flu that is... Uh, that is certainly severe, and it's uh, stretching hospitals thin, according to this article here. We have another case of um, the flu, or I should, I should say measles, in uh, another airport. Uh, again, coming from somewhere internationally. Uh, to me, it just, it just strikes of something. I don't know. I, I get a bad feeling about it. You know, some will criticize me. I just, uh, you know, I am very... I am very I am anti Obamacare. I'm anti big pharma. I am anti uh, everybody needs to get a vaccination. Um, it, it almost seems like somebody. Okay, I'm just going to say that somebody is profiting from this someplace. That's all. And I'm wondering how much worse this is going to get. Anyway, I will leave you um, a link to both of these articles. I'd ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. Uh, please check out three links. Um, you know, uh, again, I, I hardly profit on this. Uh, one is to my latest fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer Story. Another is to a free read of chapter one from that book called Fake News. And another is to some music of mine. But most importantly of all, folks, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.